John, you there? Yes, Gizzo. I'm here. Now that business we were talking about, it's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Beard. Check on the Rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no. <laughs> nice try. <trust. laughs> <laughs> Run Run out. Out. We lost yeah, someone! Uh, you were saying something? That's true, so Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, St. John out. Oh, uh, yeah, nice bunch of rapists, thieves, and murderers. What you doing out here, huh? Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. You want to die out here? Look, there's a camp... A, 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 a camp? Yeah, where... Yeah, yeah. I'll go. I'll, I'll go. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, oh. Tell him it was St. John, Deacon. They know who I am. Keep your head down and run. I can use this. Hey, St. John, where you at, brother? I'm here, Schizo, but I'm not your brother. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you, bro. That business we discussed? Let's just say uh, you should head out that way now. Oh, you mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, if you were thinking about taking a ride, what do you drifters like to call it? Ride the open road? Now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, let's get something like it always. I got you. St. John out. That's right, I gotta finish burning out these nests.
make something out of this. Look out! Thank <laughs> you. 
Another bounty. Doesn't look too bad.
Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe they should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning, got it, Deacon out.
Hey, still coming. You son of a bitch! Son of a bitch, die! Damn it. Jesus H. Christ. One tough son of a bitch. Antibiotics. You gotta find me some antibiotics. He'll fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deacon, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Uh, hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get back. Ah. Sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Right up 
the road and make sure they don't come back. Now! What was left of it? Yeah. What was left of it? Hey, I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What is it? How? I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Skizzo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. Half that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. Ha, <laughs> yeah, great! So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. Hey. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself, because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit and maybe hasn't slept in days, reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William! William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop! Addy, what's going on? Loser! <clears throat> Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, we Not need to do arm. this and we need to do this right you now. What? No! Don't you! Oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no! De no, you're not! No way! No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this! Deacon, to listen to me! The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. We're losing him! Wait! All right. All right, all right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Dig. Dig. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my goodness. I can it. We're losing. No, no, no. He's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gun. No! Oh, no, no. Boozer, come on, man. Come on. Hold him! You're okay, pal. Where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking. I'm and crying! <sighs> hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. 
You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what? I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <clears throat> I heard what you did! I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Boozer gonna live? I don't know. The Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. Hey, Deacon. Buzz, how's a camper's life? Who the hell's my ratchet wrench? I can never find anything. I know. This place is a mess. Beats me. Uh, check back later, I guess. See you around. Sorry? Hey, got some bounties, huh? Oh, okay, hold on. That's it. My first one. I was at work. Last day, it turned out. Behind the counter, a small car. Got good shit in stock today. Hey, Buzz. Yeah, that'll last you. Okay. Stop by any time. That's all I got today. It just made it easier for you to carve them up. Anyway, I... We hope he makes it. He's my friend, too. Hey. 
Deacon, you there? Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This... Nero Radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. I'll Brian out. Oh, Brian! Oh, God damn it. Oh, Brian. Oh man, your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices? No, no, not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject. The, the freak that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? <laughs> You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian... I'm still working on the info you want, don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian, out. Sound off. All clear. I'm good. Level good. Perimeter's clear. LZ secure. Did you hear that? Stage two, stage three thing. What do you mean? I mean, the virus is what it is, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Now let me... Okay. I know I'm a grunt, but before the freak show, I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show. The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking. More precisely, expressing a series of Dealing normally dormant proto-oncogenes into an active state. What the hell is she doing? Cancer. Look at him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no, this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. That's not it. Is she done? Yeah, okay. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. Hey, I don't want any trouble. What? We can be friends now, can't we? Alright. You hear that? <coughs> yep. You doing alright?
Whatever the hell it is, or what, what is she talking about O'Brien about this virus whatever the hell it is or what what it's doing I want to know what the hell's going on O'Brien why are they out here what the fuck are you doing O'Brien Yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refused to work for Schizo. Yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. Stop by the mechanic shop, and we've got a job for you. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. Stop by the mechanic shop. Yeah, run at him! And pin him down! Uh, you were saying something? I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop. Uh, we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay. Deacon out. Daddy, you there? Deacon St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke? Hey. Uh... Feeling a, a lot of it. You okay? 
Jake, what's going on? Boozer. Hey, uh, nothing. I, uh, got tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. It only really takes so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Deke, uh, a Eddie told me how I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Getting the man I whatever the fuck's. <laughs> So, uh, what, what were you saying? Deke, uh, a Eddie told me how I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Getting the N.I. whatever the fuck's, you know. Boozer, I, uh... It must have been fun. Uh, holding me down while she fucking whacked away at me. <laughs> Remember how, uh, well, Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together? <laughs> it kept slipping... <laughs> Okay, uh, you were saying? It must have been fun. Uh, Hold me down while she fucking whacked away at me. <laughs> Remember how, uh, Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together? <laughs> it kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, booze man. I remember. I still feel it, you know. Knife. Worse than the rippers. If, if you hadn't been there to... to hold me down... I don't know what would have happened to you. I don't know. Well, it's done, Boozer. It's done. It's over. Ah. Uh, Deke. Uh, sorry, I'm feeling, feeling a little woozy. Yeah. Uh, hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're at a bad fucking round. Yeah, I... I hear a bunk, uh... Calling my name. Lost Lake signing. <laughs> yeah, listen, Boozer. Boop. Shit. All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. got here a map yes got some papers notes on crafting yeah
guests. I gotta clear them out. I gotta make it safer to ride through here. I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. Poor bastard. Well, but you had that coming. <laughs> Green lights are good. Green lights are always good. Power 
Figures off. Figures. He's blown. Feels, yes. <sighs> now we're in business. Let's do it. Okay, let's see what we got in here. An injector. The good shit. Mm. This will help me keep my eyes open. Uh, micro recorder. Huh? Welcome back.
Deacon, good to see him. Joseph, world's best bounty collector. Hey, Deacon. Buzz, how's a camper's life? Um, what else can I get you? Okay. Looking for anything in particular? I'll be here, if you need me. See you around. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. Good to see you, Deke.
me some of this.
Hey Ricky, I'm a camp pioneer and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. I saw something. Are you hiding, Red? He's gotta be here somewhere. I got a use for you. Stop moving sometime. He's just running around. This is really interesting. Hey, so to my side. Side. Too Move many. It. Good. Good.
see him! What did you drop? Okay, here we go. Got you. Gotta stop moving so <laughs> One of the camps can use this.
I saw someone. Deer crossing, ah, uh, something's never changed. Let's take a look around. Hey, open up. Never mind. Just deacon. Someone's here. 
Good to see you, Deke. My first one. Hey, hey, Ricky, I no got idea him. How to fix Deacon. <sighs> this is gonna take hours. Hey, got some bounties to turn in? Ah, got it. Deke, see ya. Deke, <laughs> how's my favorite bounty hunter? How's life treating you, Blair? No refunds on that, just so you know. Uh, good choice. Yeah, good. Yep. That's nice. Now that's an upgrade. Hmm, that should work. Um, okay. Okay then. Deke, take care now. Good to see you, Deke. Hey, Buzz. Your bike definitely needs some work, man. Sure. All right. I collected shoes. I'm here if you need me, man. I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got Mars duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? In a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Seems like we got a couple. Freak stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, so. Nice work. Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spend hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. And there's way more than that, riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him. Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Now, don't get too close. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? 
This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer or two. Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Sandium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. You got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> yeah, we don't, you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through, maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stay in there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So, what are you thinking that we... Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and other stuff comes. You get my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do? Where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed them. They stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blew up those caves. Maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's 
gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. St. John, you were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike. You'll get your ass up that way today, or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit, you hear me? Without a goddamn battle! Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. <laughs> St. John, what can I do for you? I guess I'm just distracted. You're gonna have to trust me. Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike, what the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right. Here. This is it. Mike. The place is gonna be crawling out. I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holes will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah, everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. Is called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but, but it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and how well, they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. 
Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days, I wish the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers. The one that Schizo saw. I don't think he cares how many die on either side. Locked tight. Never mind. Come on. Let's get this done. Here's the door. Place is locked up tight. Come on. Gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, that's... Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Weren't you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but... I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I can take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. Right behind you. Stay down. I got this. Freaks. I'm bringing the whole goddamn thing up. Jesus, what a mess! You know why no one goes into the camp? 
Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Now, how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. So about the Rippers, why you wanted me to see that shit? No, Dick. I always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. Thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. The good folks of Sherman Camp did will stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill whippers, because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike, are you gonna get everyone killed? The freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look, here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. ain't gonna hold. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Good one. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, good. Uh, good choice. Good one. Um, okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Hey, Deke. Um, you be careful out there. Deacon. Good to see him. What's up, Joe? Hey, Deke. You stay whole out there. Deacon St. John, how have you been? Buzz, how's a camper's life? 
Looking for anything in particular? Shit, you really need a lot of fuel. Sure. All right. Now we're just start with this thing. Shit. Stop by any time. Simon to the rescue. <laughs> Never mind. My husband used to collect tools the way I collected shoes. Wish we had some of those now.